Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm all done up and everything. And your girl's about to do a get ready with me chit chat. Haven't talked to this camera in a hot minute. So if you guys want to keep watching, definitely stay tuned. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. guys it's your girl Shanice welcome or welcome back to my channel so I feel like I have not talked to this camera in a hot minute so I decided to come on here and do a get ready with me because I'm about to step out with my fiance and I'm like let me just talk to you guys for a little bit chat it up do a little chatty get ready with me so that is the plan I put on this little cute bow thing um I don't know where I got it from but it's so cute I see all the makeup gurus doing it so I'm like you know let me just put this on real quick and um yeah so let's just hop right into this if you guys are not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know every time i upload a video all right so the first thing i put on is the laneige lip sleeping mask which is bomb.com your lips are so juicy when you use this thing so i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty primer this is the soft matte filter primer so yeah y'all how have you guys been I've been pretty pretty good I have a lot of stuff going on but I'm gonna talk to you guys that about that in a future video or yeah that video might actually be up before this one but we'll see all right so for my foundation I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown skin longwear weightless foundation with the SPF 15 um, and this is in the shade golden almond so yeah where I'm about to go is on a date with my fiance um so my birthday was august 4th and because we are in a long distance relationship we didn't really get to do anything for my birthday because i was back home in toronto so usually that's how it works honestly when you're in a long distance distance relationship things just happen later than you know it's supposed to happen so even when we celebrate all of our anniversaries and things like that is usually later <laughs> than the actual date. So he's off today from work and he said he wants to take me out for my birthday. So I'm like, okay, let's do something. So I'm like, this is gonna be a good time for me just to come on camera and just show my face. So yeah, did I say that? My birthday was August 4th and today it is July, no, what? It is September um, 15th today, so a whole month later. I feel like the sides of my face um, kind of have more dark marks. For me, I get dark marks super easily. Like if I get a pimple, I usually get a dark mark with it. And I kind of have a problem picking my scabs and stuff like that. Like I enjoy doing it. <laughs> So yeah, comment down below if you enjoy like picking scabs and stuff. I don't know what's wrong with me, I just can't help myself. So for my concealer, I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Chestnut. This is definitely one of my favorite concealers. And I'm just gonna carve out my eyebrows a little bit. Oh yeah, speaking of fiancés and engagements and stuff like that, I was just on Instagram and I seen that Ken from DK4L proposed to De'Ara and I'm so excited for them. Like everybody's been like, when is it happening? When is it happening? Um, and it finally happened and I'm so happy for them. I know De'Ara is like probably mad excited. I know she's been waiting for it for a minute and I've actually met them in person and they're just such a dope couple overall. Like. They're not, they're not fake as fuck, they're real. So they got engaged on August 19th and me and Brian got get engaged on July 19th. And I'm like, damn, like a one month apart. <laughs> That's dope. I feel like something is in the water. So many people are getting engaged. Like I know probably like six people now who got engaged. There's me, there's Jackie, there's Diera, my friend Shauna, uh, my friend Bonds, like, so many people are getting engaged, it's crazy. I just see all over my TL on freaking social media. I'm gonna be using NYX Wonder Stick, the contour stick right here. And I'm just gonna blend that out first. 
I don't know what these brushes are called. This one is from NYX. And y'all, I'm just so like excited to see all of these like black couples getting engaged and soon to be married or even married and stuff like that because just growing up, I've seen so many broken families and it's just so heartbreaking. And that was like one thing that I told myself that like I never want to go through like and I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it happen for myself that I'm going to, you know, get married before I have children and all of that stuff because I'm a part of one of those broken families and as much as people say that it doesn't affect them it really does and I know that affected me in many ways even though I may not be able to pinpoint like what I know that it has but I always still have love for my dad my father no matter what even though like I barely talk to him barely see him anyway so yeah that's why i think it's super important that when you get into relationships or you decide to be with someone that you're on the same page if marriage is a goal in your life then kind of make that be known a lot of people say you know don't bring up marriage it'll scare somebody away blah blah, blah. but you have to like if you're not trying to waste your time and you want to be married and you want to have a family in the future i feel like those are very very important things that you talk about early on because if not you might be the one you know left high and dry because of that because you're not being open about your wants and your needs so for me and brian we knew that this is something that we want out of life and this is something that we want for our future even if it was with him or not, even if it was with me or not. So we had to really work towards that, working on ourselves, working on our relationship in order for us to really make that next step because it's so important that you have a solid foundation before you decide to get married or before you decide to have children. That's, it's just so, so super important. And I remember before when I didn't want to get married, I don't know why, I just thought like whatever like I don't need to be married to be with somebody for a long time and blah 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 which is so true like you can definitely you don't have to be married to be with somebody and have a great you know relationship or whatever but for me after going through all the things that I went through I realized this is like the it's the ultimate commitment and it's before God and to actually meet somebody who wants the same out of life as you do is honestly just such a blessing and I just I just give thanks to God for it but anyways yeah enough about the marriage talk I just want to say congratulations to everybody and honestly congratulations to everybody on everything um, all the big things that are going on in your life whether that's you graduating school having a baby those are always precious whether it's you buying a house, renting a house, whatever your goals are and you're accomplishing it, congratulations. Like I feel like this year was just so big for my friends and also for me honestly, 2019 has been a huge year just full of amazing accomplishments. And I'm just so proud of everybody, like it's crazy. I'm so proud of everybody. I'd love to know what you guys accomplished this year in 2019. Comment down below. Like, I just want to hear all of the good things, all of the positive, you know, reinforcements and energy. I just, I just need it down below in the comment section. Let's, let's share the love, guys. Cause sometimes we don't have people who support us and who back us up and are there for us. So if we can do that in the comments for each other, I'm all for it. Y'all just see how this powder just smooths you out? Mm, 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 mm. All right, micro smooth all over the face. All right, so I'm gonna use Mocha Mommy to contour. 
And this is like super red, so you kind of have to like be careful. At least on me, it's pretty red. My favorite bronzer of all time though is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer and this smells so good. I'm gonna put some of that on too. You can't be too bronze, right? So for my eyes, I'm just gonna do something light. I'm literally gonna take the same bronzer, sweep that all over my eyes. I'm not really an eyeshadow girl, y'all know this, but I'm gonna apply some of these two colors, Deja Brew and You're Grounded. This is from the Beauty Bakery Coffee palette. Okay, now I'm taking You're Grounded. Jeez. Ooh, that is pretty. You know what one of my fears with eyeshadow is, is that I'm going to go too high because I hate when eyeshadow is so high up on somebody's eyelid and then they just look like a clown. <laughs> I don't, I hate when I see eyeshadow that carries like all the way into the brow. It's just like really, it's a lot. And then like I have really like liney, I have a lot of like flaps on my eyes so I hate I hate seeing that. So I'm just taking a darker like chocolate brown and deepening up this outer V part because it was looking kind of crazy. All right, so I'm gonna use the same, I think, your grounded highlight and highlight my cheekbones. Somebody just texted me, sorry. in there honey but yeah y'all I have so much going on in my life right now like a lot of shit changes everything and I don't know that's why I've kind of been MIA on this channel and more just on my vlog channel because I like to update you guys on there I share so much freaking stuff on there and you become more updated if you are subscribed to that channel and if you guys want to get to know me more get to know what's going on in my life this channel is just more focused on beauty hair and stuff like that so i'm trying to open up to you guys but it's just i don't know how to be honest i don't know how so for my lashes i'm going to be using Eyler feet jasmine brown this is her collection and this is in the style of curly queen so I'm going to put these lashes off camera because you guys don't need to see me struggle. The struggle is real when it comes to lashes. Like, Alright, so for my lips, I'm using NYX um, Dark Brown Lip Liner. I'm going to use this ColourPop Lippy Stick in... Beautycon. I guess this was from Beautycon. Literally just gonna dab that on. I don't want a lot. And then lastly, taking one of my favorite glosses. This is uh, Diamond Milk by Fenty Beauty. Oh my gosh, this smells just everything. And I don't mind my lip liner showing and stuff like that because I like the 90s vibes and I'm all about it. I'll just apply um, a little bit of Fenty Glow on top, like why not? It's had these lips juicy. Juicy for my Beyonce. Even though when I wear lip gloss, he hates kissing me. It's like, don't kiss me, don't touch me, don't do nothing. Thank you. Anyways, Max Fix Plus. I wish I had one of those fans like that Jackie Anna uses. She always like, I just gotta use my hands. Ooh. Anyway, 
anyways y'all i'm back this is the final look i just put a diffuser to my hair it's still a little bit damp so hopefully when i go outside it will dry and stuff like that um i was really going for like effortless you know effortless type of look when it comes to my hair and i'm gonna show you guys my outfit as soon as we get outside because i don't have enough space in here to show y'all but it's super cute anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big juicy thumbs up because it definitely does help me and i'll see you guys all in the next video i love y'all